Hey, this is Jeremy with Bod's Exotic Reptiles, and thanks for tuning into the channel again. Uh, today is a good day. Today's Friday, first of all. Second of all, I got off work a little earlier than I expected. Third thing is I come home to a clutch of eggs, which is this girl right here. She gave me six last year. I'm not sure how many she's got. We're going to pour off in just a minute. You can see I have one roll off. I want to say at least seven. That's my guess. And the other thing is one of my other clutches, my Champagne the Peter clutch, pipped a little earlier, so I'll be uh, cutting those. My roll is 60 days or first pip when I cut. You can see, well, I scared her or him. He tucked back into the egg, but you can see where he came out. So uh, we'll check that out in a minute. And the Pastavi, and I ended up putting her with a lesser Lesser pastel calico. Oh, yeah, so we'll, we might get some blue-eyed Lucy's in this and let me see if I can pour off Without her lighting me up. Let me see. Come on mama. She is a second time mom Last year she gave me six good eggs. I put her with a fire I'm gonna guess seven this time. Please don't light me up <laughs> And if she does makes for a good video. Come on open up girl Open up Oh, um, Some big eggs. one, two, three, four, five, six. She gave me the same as last year. I thought maybe her second time she'd give me more, but hey, I'm not complaining one bit. Let me make yeah. sure she's empty. Let me get her to straighten up. I think she still thinks she's got eggs in her, or laying on her eggs still. She won't unravel. But yeah, she is empty. She is empty. And she is still solid, man. Always been a good eater. I'm gonna set her in here for now so I get her all cleaned up. And let's go ahead and pull these eggs. And again, last week, if you watched my last video, it was storming and I ended up uh, getting two clutches, and both of them were actually early and it's been storming again today and um, these I think these have been here for a while because they're pretty stiff let me see if I can pull them apart without doing any damage I might just leave these together yeah they feel like they've been on there for a while I don't want to take a chance of ripping them can you go ahead and kill the lights for me They're gonna to stay together anyway, but I wanna go ahead and uh, just check the embryos. And boy, are these some big eggs. I'm moving your arm gets back in the way. <laughs> Sorry, camera girl. Definitely got vein. And then I'll check this one here, because this is a roll off. Looks like the embryos right there. You want to go ahead and mark this one. The other ones, uh, I'll go ahead and mark those two, I guess, at the tops. Okay, here's the champagne female to pewter male clutch. One is pipped, and my rule of thumb is, is wait to 60 days to cut or till the first pip to cut and we had the first pip so let's go see what uh we got going on here so pewter is uh, pastel and cinnamon mixed together and sometimes cinnamon will throw ringers and almost sometimes make these look like pies <laughs> you get my shoulder in there yeah you could have just asked me to give them oh uh, well you're holding the camera all right, this is the one that pipped, and of course I spooked it and went back into the uh, and there's a little egg there. Yeah. Try to open this up carefully. Is it got yellow on the side? I can't yeah, see. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to tell 100%. Is that a head? Yeah. yeah. And it's in Cute little bugger. So this is why I like to, it's easier to cut them when they're uh, dimpled like this because I can 
and squeeze the egg together. Get a nice good cut across. This one looks like it might be a normal. Looks like that might. Looks like that's going to be a normal. That might be a, oh, that might be a pastel, yeah. That, yeah. that might be a pastel, pastel there. Mm -hmm. Three down. I'm hoping to get a... Obviously, get all three. But I'd be happy with a... With a uh, cinnamon champagne in this. You would think out of six eggs, but you know how that goes. I want to say cinnamon. She's a small one. Yeah. She or he. But I'll know better once they start coming out a little better. Okay. And you can see how small these eggs are. Okay. The ones I just uh, put in the incubator were almost twice this size. Matter of fact, Jenny, why don't you go grab that scale for me real quick? I think I put it back over there in the shelf. Just weigh one of these up, just out of curiosity. It's another normal. Do you want to weigh one up? Boy, five eggs, we only got one of that champagne. We have 64. Not Next, the whole egg. Bad, All right, let's see. Well, you got to think that other one that we weighed. Oh yeah, I know. Seven eggs, six eggs, and it, they weighed over seven hundred grams. So that's Almost over a hundred grams yeah. an egg. Okay, so if you do this, helps you avoid getting the egg vein. It's definitely a cinnamon. Okay. It's too dark to be a champagne. And it's definitely, definitely a cinnamon in there. Oh yeah, that's cinnamon yeah. for sure. Okay. Alright, we'll put these back in, let them crawl out. We were looking for, but... Well, I don't know what all is at that. At the one champagne. I don't know if it's just champagne, it might have something else. There we go. Alright, clutch number two.